Hello everyone, welcome to Adisat Gaming Time. This is the fourth time I've filmed this now, anyway. So, today I just want also want to let you know that this will be the last time where we will have that stupid title in the... in the title. See, I can't think. Let's just go to the intro. Let's talk about Battlefront 2. So the new update is officially out. It's called the Chosen One update. It features Anakin and a bunch of clone skins and changes. Overall, the update is quite nice. It's nice to have a new hero. But I do fear that this will be the last hero that we will have. Maybe until December, I would say, for when Episode 9 comes out. But that's just pure speculation. Also, something has appeared upon the Xbox and PlayStation Store. It's called the Hoff Bundle. Now, this does include stuff from the first Battlefront in 2015, but this includes uh, Battlefront 2 as well. And also, it includes the Hoff skins from Luke, Leia, and also Han Solo. And now also, there is a community survey for February, so if you don't mind to take at least five minutes out of your day, then link down below. And then finally, the community update video is finally out. And no, it doesn't give any new teasers for what March will bring, as of it has been confirmed beforehand that they couldn't really do that, because it's more than just capturing footage but I do hope we do get a tease beforehand but that probably won't happen. <laughs> Forgot Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order the first look will be revealed at April 13th which is also the Star Wars celebration date. Okay we have a bunch of stuff to talk about relating to Kingdom Hearts 3 but there is more, and I do plan to cover that in another video, but link to that information down below. So this information, some of it comes from an interview with the director, and also some information comes from a book that was released in Japan um, that talks about Kingdom Hearts 3 in the future, questions, etc. Okay, so here's what's happening. So is DLC happening? Yes, it is, and I'm very happy to say that but we're not done just yet the DLC will be some of it will be free and some of it will be also paid content that will all be released beforehand in 2019 within this year now I can say that the paid content at least will cover up some of the story elements that were overlooked in the main game. So one example is how did Cheon come back? Because we saw how Nomine came back. We saw how Wox's Terra, Fen, and also how Akra, how all they came back apart from but apart from one person, Cheon. Also, Critical Mode will be coming to the game at a later update. And then also, there will be at least one more game before Kingdom Hearts 4. Now, here's how I see how they could go about with this. In Kingdom Hearts 4, you always, or at least a game with a number at the end of it, you're always going around in different worlds with Donald and Goofy and Sora. I don't know if they plan to change this, but there could be a possibility where the secret ending that we saw at the end of that will be morely covered and will be the next game, but not in Kingdom Hearts 4. That's purely speculation. We're just going to have to wait and find out. Just hang on a little bit, guys. Also, moving on to the VR experience. This was released this week it was and currently I know it's available for the European countries and this is the English version. I know they said something about the US but I'm not going to comment on that until I know further information. But it, it, it is out and it is for free and they've said in the description of 
the VR experience on the PlayStation Store, that additional scenarios will be added later in 2019. And finally, a board game about Kingdom Hearts will be coming in 2019. So overall, we've got DLC happening for Kingdom Hearts 3 and also the critical mode. We've got the VR experience and more to come and now the board game. Overall, three good things that are happening this year. PUBG is doing a collaboration event with Horizon Sword On. Yes, it's been two years since that game got released. Now, I know that they're going to be having exclusive content for the PlayStation 4. Now, I don't know when this will be happening. Honestly, I just want to let you guys know because when they do this type of thing I just feel like it's really really cool and it proves that Guerrilla Games has not forgotten about this I just hope I just hope that they're working on Horizon 2 because I would love that. A new Tumblr post has been released for Life is Strange 2 now they do talk about episode 3 little but they don't have any major updates and they do plan to talk about it more in their next Tumblr post. I didn't really read through it, I was just looking about stuff about episode 3, but overall that's all we've got for Life is Strange. Okay, and lastly, where is the 500 special? Well, this week I was due to film it, but then, oh, something clicked in my head and I just found out that there was a reason why I couldn't. But I will have to postpone it to another week, but I do hope it will come out at least next week. But things can change because February has literally been the worst month for me so far. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.